How's it going everyone and welcome back to Busch Gardens Tampa. I just got off Serengeti Flyer, the new SNS Scream and Swing here at the park. But this video is not going to be about Serengeti Flyer. It is actually going to be about what is going on with the Intamin Drop Tower Falcon's Fury. And now I don't really have much to say on it about like what I think is, you know, becoming of the attraction because no one knows. It is very interesting. It's been closed for about a year and a half and then they reopened it for about a week in like the month of April, in like mid-April, and now they closed it again. They basically closed it towards the end of April, and it has not been open since. So if you were lucky to ride it during that one week of operation, you were lucky because it, it closed without any notice. The park was like, okay, we gotta work on this thing a little bit longer, we gotta test it out a little bit longer. That was sort of just a soft opening phase. But then no word came from the park on when it will reopen after that. So we're gonna take a stroll on down towards Pantopia now and go see what's going on with this drop tower Falcon Fury. Let's go. Now interestingly enough, when I was coming in today, the ride was actually attached to the catch car at the top of the drop all the way there and since then it has slowly been lowered down to I believe ground level so we're gonna go check it out see if they're currently working on anything just have to cross on over into Pantopia Now coming up to the attraction's main entrance, they do have a sign placed out front advising guests that it will be closed during their visit with no signs of it reopening. What's also interesting is that there is no construction wall placed around the premise. You can just walk right up and uh, awe in its glory <laughs> because there really is n nothing holding you back. And now it is a shame that this ride has just been sitting here vacant for this long when really you can see it from almost any vantage point in the entire park just for how tall it is you got the catch car now on ground level um, earlier I saw the catch car with the vehicle itself all the way at the top and then slowly lower down as the day went on but basically it carries the seats all the way up 335 feet then the feet will tilt you 90 degrees straight down and then drop you at over 60 miles per hour a really impressive ride I must say nothing else like it in the world and this was my favorite ride at Busch Gardens up until Iron Gwazi opened last year definitely not for the fate of heart but I definitely love it coming over here to the Painted Camel Bazaar, you can still see Falcon's Fury is featured prominently on the Quick Hue advertisement sign right over here, across from the ride. And now I get that the ride has not been open in over a year, but inside of the shop, you will not find any Falcon's Fury merchandise, I'll tell you that right now. I don't know how long they have really not sold any branded merch. And the fact that the ride is not open, I guess they don't want to be selling any uh, merchandise. Now throughout the park you will find merchandise for Cheetah Hunt, Iron Gwazi, Serengeti Flyer even. I'm wearing a Serengeti Flyer tee, just not for Falcon's Fury. Definitely a shame of what has become of this attraction. Just sitting here rotting away. Hopefully, it'll reopen soon. And now what they're basically doing, from what I understand, is just reworking uh, the braking mechanism um, that slows the car down at the end of the ride. That is one of the things, I don't know what else they are doing, just some minor work, and I guess it needs some more work to be tuned out before they can reopen. Uh, because definitely this is an extended delay and the park really is showing that they are in no rush to get it back open.
coming around to this side, you can see that the maintenance ladder is actually extended to ground level. I don't see anybody currently working up there, but definitely uh, some work has been taking place today. Look at that, an empty queue that should be filled head to toe with eager theme park guests waiting to take a ride on this attraction. And you know, as a prototype ride by Intamin, it definitely was a big risk by the park to place such a massive structure right here in the middle of it all. You can see this thing from, like I said, any vantage point from the parking lot, from all the way over next to Shikra on the other side of the park, from the front where Iron Gwadi and Cheetah Hunt is. You can see it from literally anywhere you stand. And the fact that it is just a vacant attraction now is kind of sad. And it looks like Falcon's Fury is still marked on the park directory. Get Iron Gwazi down there even added. But Falcon's Fury, still marked. You can even try the test seat back there if you'd like. See what the ride would be like if it was open, uh, but however, obviously, non-operational. Super unfortunate, I also get why it's been closed this long, but at the same time, um, I wish the park would work on getting it back open, uh, and I would really hate if they did decide to scrap the whole idea and rip it out for something new, because Falcon's Fury Definitely a unique one in Florida. Now a closer look, I believe what they have been doing, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe what they've been working on are those metal fins that are supposed to slow down the car when it drops riders. I believe they've been replacing all of them and doing some other minor work to make this ride feel fresh and new. It's just obviously taking them a lot longer to do than they had originally planned on. But you can see those metal rods used to slow down the car are I believe what they've been working on this whole time. Well everyone, that's gonna do it from our short visit, checking out what is happening to Falcon's Fury here at Busch Gardens Tampa. Let me know what you think will become of this attraction, if it will be replaced, if it will stay put with nothing done to it forever. That's what it feels like. It feels like it's been like in the it feels like it's been in the state forever. So let me know what you think they will be doing to it here at the park. Uh, but that's all I've got for you guys. So as always, if you're new around, be sure to like and subscribe down below to Park Twister. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care.